All right. Unit 4, still 8-6 solving. This is the last uh, section in Unit 4. A couple quick important items to note is that you got to make sure that you uh, multiply each side by the LCD, and we'll talk more about that in order to solve, and then make sure you check your work. They don't always work. Yep. All right, so first thing it says, multiply by the LCD. So we got to do some factoring. So over on the bottom right there, we got to factor that. So x plus 2, and or x plus 3, and x minus 3. So, so our LCD, the thing that will make these all the same, is x plus 3 and x minus 3. So we're going to multiply everything by LCD. Okay, everything on the left side here, this entire left side of the equation, gets multiplied by your LCD. Distribute and to the first. The x minus 3's will cancel, and right you're left here. with x times x plus 3. So that's your numerator right there. The x plus 3 goes with your numerator. Okay. Distribute the other one. Uh, notice in this one, the x plus 3 and the x plus 3 will cancel, so the x minus 3 comes down with your numerator right there. And then on the right side, what's going to cancel? Everything. So you're left with Everything. just two. Just now the two. beauty, this is why we're solving by multiplying by the LCD, because it gets rid of the fractions, and we know how much all of you love fractions. We love the fractions. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, what do you do? Take a look at it. It looks like you can distribute, so you do. You distribute the x to these two terms, and you get the x squared plus 3x. Distribute the x to this binomial, and you get this right here. Combine, Combine your like terms. terms, you get 2x equals 2. And you got a couple options here. If you really need to use the quadratic formula, set it equal to 0. Get your a and just c because the b would be 0. Solve it that way. Or we can just divide by 2 and then take the square root of both sides, which gives us a plus or minus 1. A lot quicker here. So if you recognize some of these types of problems and the methods you could use to solve them, you're going to save a lot of time and energy. Yep. All right, and then the last step is we got to check. So we plug in positive 1, see how it works. we got 1 minus 3, 1 on top, plus 1 over 1 plus 3 equals 2 over 1 squared minus 9. Do a little bit of computation here. we got the negative 2, we got the 4, and we got the negative 8. And you just want to verify if they are correct. And these two combine to get negative one-fourth. This simplifies the negative one-fourth. It checks out. We say that that's a valid solution. So one works. Make sure you also check for negative one. Same thing. We're plugging in a negative one. Go through the work. Check it out. Um, and you see down here it's cut off at the bottom. But you'll be all right. It does equal each other. So. They check out. All right. Okay. Same thing here. First step, we got a factor. We got a factor. The bottom factors. Now we got to find our LCD. X plus two is X and X plus one. Okay. Multiply both sides by that. So this entire left side, right here, you'll see what happens. That they go ahead and everything cancels out since this denominator already has both of those. They simply drop out and you just bring down the numerator. Over here you see the x plus 2 will cancel out and then the 2x comes down with the x plus 1. Okay, same thing on the right side, the x plus 1's will cancel. And then you get your x minus 1, the original numerator, with the x plus 2, which is what was left after the x plus 1's cancel. Now we work on simplifying, do some distributing. Distributing, yep, I can talk. Distributing, <laughs> and then on the, and then you'll combine like terms on the left. So that gives us that. On the right, we do some FOIL, whatever method works for you. Double distribution. Yep, the box. The box method. All right, it's a quadratic, so <coughs> we got to take it and set it equal to zero. So subtract x squared, subtract x, and add two. Gives us that. We factor and then solve or use the quadratic formula or whatever method works for you okay. whatever you like plug in that negative one and you'll notice up in this numerator or the denominator there on the right hand side the negative when you plug in that negative x there it won't work it'll give you zero so it does not work you don't even have to go any further if you get zero on the bottom you're done yep so, so no solutions all right time's up